right, this is U.S. Training Center Vlog, and we are here talking today with Ms. Liv Coffey. Liv, can you introduce yourself and what college you went to and what boat you were in this summer? Hi, my name is Liv Coffey. I went to Harvard and I rode for Radcliffe. And this summer I was the three seat in the women's squad and we got bronze. Woo! Excellent. <laughs> All right, and how was making the transition from spring racing to fall racing? Mmm. Uh, it's always a shock to the system to get back into the 5k distances and the over 20 minute pieces, um, but it's good for you and um, yeah, just good to get the miles in, I guess. Definitely, definitely. Now with all this head race season coming up, where are we going to see you next? Where's your next racing appearance? So my next big race is the head of the Charles. I'll be racing in the Radcliffe Alumni 8 um, with fellow Radcliffe alumni, and uh, we race on Saturday. Awesome. And is this your first time racing in the Alumni 8? Yes, this is my first time racing, and from what I can understand, it's very competitive. There are a lot of bragging rights, um, and so, yeah, it's going to be a fierce race, so I'm preparing for that. <laughs> Who do you think is going to be your top two schools to beat out there in the Alumni race? Ooh, that's a tough call, because a lot of national teamers go back and race for their alumni crew, so I'm thinking that... Brown is going to be fast, and UVA, and Michigan, just to name a few, but I mean, there might be some surprises. And Radcliffe, obviously. <laughs> and now, have you done the Charles in any other boat classes? Yes. So last year, I raced in the four with Susan Franzia, Esther Lofgren, and Emily Hill Scamp, and we won, which was great. And then I've raced a single before, um, which is actually my most favorite race ever. <laughs> And what made it your most favorite? Um, the Charles River is just a really fun place to race. It's a fun regatta. If you train there like I did in college, the course is really easy and it gives you a big advantage. And you also have people cheering for you for a good 20 minutes. And inevitably, you'll be somewhere where you don't think anybody's watching you. And you'll hear from the bushes like, go live. And you'll be like, yeah, 10. <laughs> and then, yeah, so that's what makes it fun. Oh, that's perfect. And then, on that same note, have you had any bad experiences head racing on the Charles? Ooh, yeah, actually. <laughs> um, during one of the head of the Charles in the single, I ran into my teammate, Emily Hills Camp, who I actually ended up racing with the following year and at the World Championships in the four in 2013. And <laughs> it was, I, I knew it was going to happen. She knew it was going to happen. We were both just so competitive that neither of us would yield. So that, that was fun. That was interesting. But um, no bridge collisions, which is surprising, but good. <laughs> That's always good, not running into the stationary objects for sure. Yeah, yeah, they always win. <laughs> yes, they do. And then do you have any advice out there for young junior rowers or uh, you know, veterans that are doing their first or multiple head races this season? Ooh, do I have any advice? Well, uh, especially at the Charles, the course matters. So pay attention to your course. And, um, you know, just try to get faster throughout the piece. You know, don't, don't fly and die, just keep it going. <laughs> so, yeah, those are, that's my piece of advice. That's great advice. Well, Liv, thank you so much for talking with us, and best of luck at the Charles. Thanks.